All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? This is the goddess Giselle, the She Boss Spiritual Boss with the Spiritual Sauce. All right, coming to you with another episode of She Boss Talks. I hope everybody's having a blessed and prosperous day so far. And, um, you know, I hope it continues on like that as well. So today, yeah, the topic is about mind over matter. Now, I definitely talked about the topic before, so this will be more like a follow-up part two. But um, just want to get into a few things. I have been kind of quiet lately. Ready to talk again. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Plus, you know, when I get the urge, I just got to go ahead and get it out because for some reason, you know, something, a force greater than myself is telling me that I need to push it. So, um, that's what I do when I, do, when I get that feeling. So, yeah, if you haven't already, drop down below. Hit that subscribe button. All right, it helps me in the algorithms. It helps this message to get out and get into the hands of the right people. Because, of course, you know, they try to shut us true teachers down. And us, uh, those of us that are trying to help, you know what I'm saying, the masses move in a more positive and enlightening direction in life. All right? So, that's how we combat that. By sharing and uh, liking and engaging. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback on you know what i'm saying and how you're how you're feeling about what i'm saying all right so listen mind over matter what you what the things that are on your mind really matter in the outcome and the results all right so this is what i wanted to talk about today having um having positive mindsets and positive thoughts will do more for your life than a lot of people realize and a lot of people don't realize that You're a, man, you're, you're a master manifester. And you could be manifesting things in your life that you don't even realize you're manifesting, all right? So let me give you an example of that. If you're someone who always has a negative attitude, a negative uh, mindset, a negative perspective about things, a negative opinion about others, or you have one of those woe is me pity party type of attitudes about things that's happened to you, when times get hard, times get tough, you don't know what to do, you're breaking down, you're emotional, you're unfunctionable, you're unreasonable. A lot of times, when that's your mindset and your mind frame all day, every day, and majority of the time, you're gonna attract negative things and negative results, negative people, negative outcomes, negative situations into your life, all right? Now, if you are the type of person that has a positive mind frame, positive outlook on life, always be, is always optimistic about things, is open-minded about things, um, willing to learn, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily stuck in a box where you can't think outside of uh, the things that everyone around you is thinking, then a lot of times you will notice that your results and the things that you attract are a lot more positive, all right? Because what's on your mind really matters when it comes to the things that you're producing and manifesting, all right? So yes, your mind over matter, mind over matter, all right? Mind over matter in order to be a master manifester. That's what we're talking about. Now, a lot of people don't know this, you feel me? Um, you may have heard it, you may have not, but I can tell you um, just from my own personal experiences that, you know, this is definitely the truth and this is the case. I remember, um, being in a negative mindset, negative perspective all the time. Um, I just wasn't, I wasn't aware of the abilities and the things that I could create, you know what I'm saying? And the things that I thought I could create, I didn't believe in my ability to really make that, you know what I'm saying, turn into anything greater than what I, I think I could have. Um, and I want to say that some of my limited beliefs came from the people around me you feel me because I, I remember when I used to have a, a fearlessness towards life and things that I wanted to do I used to be fearless I used to never be scared of anything the outcome whether it was good or bad I just went and did it starting to get around people that have negative mindsets and starting to get around people that are not even positive in their own um life as far as the way they think in their mindset and being around people who are not self-motivated, who are who don't believe in themselves, you feel me? Getting around people that don't have any goals, any dreams, any aspirations, any type of specific focus that they are working towards. You know, having goals is not just about reaching them. Having goals is about becoming a better person in the, in the process too because there's a lot of things that you have to be able to change and, and, you know what I'm saying, structure 
yourself according to. You know, like reaching a goal requires you to be responsible. Reaching a goal requires you to be committed. Reaching a goal requires you to be focused. Reaching a goal will require you to have to learn more. Um, if you're somebody that thinks that just because you graduated from high school that, you know what I'm saying, or college, you don't have to learn anything else in life, or you can't learn anything else in life, then you might be someone who is limited to beliefs and limited on the things that you're able to accomplish. Because no one is growing, you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong with continuing your own education. Now, granted, you know, everybody does not have the ability to learn things, but you'd be surprised what you could do once you put your mind to it, all right? Most of the time, people don't have the ability to do that because they just believe they can't. You feel me? I have no, I mean, you have people that have become very successful who was illiterate in school. School told them they were illiterate, couldn't, you know, read, write, or whatever the case is. But when they set their mind to the fact that this is something that they wanted to overcome, then, you know what I'm saying, people start just doing things that people that can't imagine. You feel me? It's, it's kind of like having a superpower and not being aware that you have a superpower. When you start tapping in, you tap, you turn on the your, you, you activate your power, so to speak. When you start believing in yourself, you activate the things that you're able to do. When you start having positive mindsets and positive outlook on life, you start to manifest things that you didn't believe you could manifest before. Because once your mindset changes, your perspective on things changes. You know what I'm saying? And once your perspective on things changes, man, the outcomes will start changing. You know, and it doesn't mean that just because you have a positive mind frame and outlook on life that everything is going to work in your favor. That's crazy. A lot of people think, like, for instance, you know, I always tell people and encourage people to start a business, you know, start your own um, and have your own so that you can work for yourself. You feel me? Now, just because you start a business doesn't mean that you're going to be starting a business today and being getting rich overnight. It doesn't quite work like that. You feel me? So I would never tell somebody who doesn't feel like, that, or who feels like they need, you know what I'm saying, certain stable income or finances to be able to fulfill their dreams, all right? Jobs, are, it's nothing wrong with having a job. You can use a job and have a job as a stepping stone, especially when you need to learn more about a certain area or, certain, or you need to gather more experience to gain expertise in a certain field or industry, okay? So don't, don't get it twisted. The, the thing is, a lot of people go to work with no kind of mission or, or goals or focus, you feel me? Like, I remember when I was in the halfway house, um, when I was getting transitioning from prison to, to coming home, you know, I had a job at a food, um, a chicken plant, you know what I'm saying? I went I went to that job with the intentions of becoming a, a line leader and eventually a supervisor, all right? And I really, really believed that. Actually, I set my mind to that before I got there. Within 90 days, I was already trained to be a line leader. And I didn't even have to ask. I was I was asked to be the line leader because I got in there. And I I just, you know what I'm saying? I did what I do. You feel me? <laughs> I'm a problem solver. I'm very strategic and analytical when it comes to things and situations that I'm in. When I see that people are not, when I see a situation is not going in the best, I can actually look at the components and see, okay, this needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. And I can figure out how to fix that. And then I can figure out how to put that into play. You feel me? So, and I learned these skills from being a natural born hustler. You feel me? I learned that from being in the streets, being put, being tested, going through trials and tribulations, going through struggles. I didn't learn that from having a, 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 a you know what I'm saying, a stress-free lifestyle or anything like that. So a lot of times when people are worried about going through stuff because they fear failure, failure is, is just about how you look at it. You feel me? Failure is not necessarily a bad thing. I don't mind failing because I know if I fail, then I can figure out how to actually do it better. You feel me? Or I can figure out where I went wrong. The, the, it's learning and failure. You know what I'm saying? It's lessons to be learned. So life is a is a life learned lesson. You feel me? You're gonna be living. You're gonna be learning lessons as long as you're living. Don't never be scared to fail. It's it's actually better to fail fast and fail quicker. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're failing forward. You're not failing backwards. Failing and stopping is just a decision that you make. You feel me? Failing and keep going is another decision that you can make. It's just, a, it's the total opposite, but you actually are being more productive and you're staying on track with it. You ever seen somebody get better with something over time and be like, yeah, I remember when, ooh, they, they couldn't even do it like that. Yeah, well, yeah, because if you stick with it, you know what I'm saying, practice makes perfect. This is not a, a fictitious thing. This is actually reality, you feel me? Just like the fact that a positive mindset will start to 
change your life, all right? This is not something that happened overnight. Imagine being a negative Nancy all your life, and overnight you decide to become a positive Patty, and you think that life is going to be great from here on out. Well, it doesn't quite work like that. The things that you learn in the the that 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 negative energy that you have had harbored up inside of you for all these years is going to have to be, you know, depleted and 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 diminished along the way it's not going to happen overnight you feel me? it's not an instant gratification a lot of people are looking for instant gratification they're not willing to put any work into anything all right so just wanted to say that you know if you're waking up and you're having um doubts about your life if you're feeling like you know why does this happen to me um or i never have any opportunities i never get a break Sometimes you have to make your own break. You have to break through, all right? You got to get in touch, in touch with yourself and really figure out what do you want in life. A lot of people are like just roaming and aiming and going through life aimlessly with no direction because they're not even sure about where they want to go. You got to have more of a, a, a specific vision. Um, I'm going to be doing a, vi a virtual vision party soon, and I hope that this can help some people out. Um did by excuse me this week i will be launching the manifestation manual all right the goddess of goals manifestation manual for all you ladies all you boss women out there it's the business edition and it is it's structured in order to help you get your business together now last year um i was telling y'all about you know ownership and having your own keeping it in the family being able to pass down things by generational wealth this year is more so of own nothing and control everything all right but even in order to do that you still need to start that business you need to start that hustle you need to get more um focused on how to create passive incomes and things that can eventually replace your main income okay it, especially if that's a job because think about it you getting a business does not mean you're not working anymore, all right? You are working. You're just working for yourself. Now, the thing is, once you start making that money, you start realizing, well, damn, if I'm working for myself and this is my business, why am I still paying Uncle Sam? Well, that's because you don't know how to structure the business, all right? So that's where Giselda comes into place and helps you start getting that stuff together, all right? So I'm sure y'all heard about trust. I'm sure y'all heard about business trust, personal trust, property trust, you know, all kind of trust. But the trust in, in getting it established and set up would be the keys to how you, well, it's not the only way, but it's one of the ways. If, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a really good way to um, own nothing and control everything, all right? So when it comes to business structure, you got to understand more about the levels and how it goes, all right? So corporate structure is very important and, of course, commercial structure, all right? So that's what we're going to be focusing on and hopefully you all are you know what i'm saying tuned in and subscribe to the queen of quality empire channel where we talk more about boss business all right generational wealth administrative processes and just taking control of your life in different areas you know what i'm saying that are going to help to keep things structured on a professional manner all right and it's also what the reason why we're doing those things is so that we can create generational wealth we want our money and our funds and our businesses to stay inside of the families for you know what i'm saying generations to come all right so yeah that's what we got for you man it's all about growth it's all about elevation thank goodness i'm not in the same spot where i used to be last year you know what i'm saying this time mentally mentally physically financially you know what i'm saying emotionally um all those things all right and so um feeling better looking better definitely uh, got more focused and honed in on a lot of things that I needed to, especially about, you know, intake and health, because health is wealth. The healthier you are, the wealthier you will become. People don't believe that, but I promise you, if you start to get a little bit healthier, you'll start seeing yourself a little bit more wealthier. All right, so that's what I got for y'all today, man. I hope that this message helped to encourage and inspire those of you out there who might not have been having a good day and feeling good about life, all right? The thing is, you got to stay in your head and tell yourself that it's going to be okay, all right? Any time that you find yourself having negative um, negative opinions or outlooks on yourself, especially if it's about your personal situation, immediately adjust your thinking, okay? You got to take control of the, your mindset, all right? So don't let your brain override your mindset. I've done videos about this before, how the brain and the mind are two separate entities within your body, excuse me. But a lot of times, people think that the mind and the brain is the same, all right? So your brain is what's reacting. 
but your mind is in control. So whatever you allow your brain to convince your mind of, that's what it will be. So when your brain comes with those negative thoughts and those negative ideas, immediately turn your mind up and tell you and let your mind shut down those things all right with more positive reinforcement a positive motivated mindset will actually produce better results for you in the end okay so as always i speak nothing but infinite blessings and abundance on your life your wealth your health your community your existence and your love all right as always i appreciate y'all and um till we meet again next time okay i say peace